Shamira Moodley embraces an unconventional approach to life and lifestyle, and she even applies mindfulness to food and fashion. That sounds pretty esoteric, so Zaki went in search of some answers. As mid-morning approached, Shamara was working on some of her latest projects, but even her ever-creative imagination couldn't overcome her self-discipline when it came to tea time. This is more than a ritual or a refreshment break for the Lani Rani, because she sets this time aside to step back from pressures of schedule and diary and focus on the things in her life that really matter. When I think of the word mindful, the first thing that pops to mind are Zen gardens and Tai Chi. But there's a much broader way to view the concept. The Lani Rani, Shamara Mudli, has graciously offered to enlighten me on her take of mindfulness in her busy world. Shamara, I hope I'm not interrupting. Well, actually, Zach, I'm having my mommy magic moment. What is a mommy magic moment? Well, Zach, it's literally when I unplug. I unplug from social media, my hectic schedule. It's 10 minutes a day for mom. It's almost like a kid's timeout, but for me. Shamara, to you, what is mindfulness? For some people, it might be meditating. For others, it might be as simple as saying a prayer. For me, it's just sitting outside in nature and reflecting on what I have in my life that I need to be grateful for. So, would you like to join me for my brunch with benefits? I would love to join you for a brunch with benefits. So Zach, I don't usually have time for breakfast in the morning. To be honest, the morning time is my most energetic and creative time. Sometimes having breakfast does slow me down, so what I like to do is have brunch. What is for brunch with benefits? We're making waffles. It's super healthy, so it's guilt-free, gluten-free, using a highly nutritious oat bran. That sounds very healthy. Let's get cracking. I'm making two portions today, so I'd say we need five tablespoons of oat bran. This is actually my kid's favorite porridge ingredient. Topped up here, this is just your standard oat bran that you use for porridge, but I did pop it into the blender. So it just gives you a light, fluffier kind of waffle. Next goes in our baking powder. Now you don't really have to use this because the egg will aerate it and so will the yolk. Next, our egg. Super nutritious, full of protein. So there goes that egg. And last but not least, yogurt. Now this needs to be a flavor that one of your kids preferably doesn't like. Just stock standard little yogurt. If you wanted to do a savory version, go with the plain. So you need to just give it a quick mix till it's smooth. So that looks really nice. I think I'm just gonna whack this in there. Go. I just want to smoothen that out a little bit, make sure it's even. So that will just be a few minutes. There's a huge move towards a more conscious and sustainable way of eating. How do you implement this in your cooking? Easy. I eat seasonally. In terms of sustainability, you know, if I think about my granny and pickling, that's one of the things that I learned from her. When things are in abundance, when they are relatively cheap, pickle them. Lemon pickle is one of my favorite things to do. So let's go. Yes. Oh, yeah, they are. Oh, that hot. Okay, while that cools, grab some cutlery because I'm ready to dress these babies. So these were actually inspired by my recent holiday to Paris where I managed to find a place that's all gluten-free, guilt-free, yummy treats. So, do you want to grab those pistachios over there and give them a quick sprinkle? Sure. Now, Zach, please do have a taste. You do not have to insist. You're right, these are so fluffy and the texture is phenomenal. Zach, when it comes to texture, I am a freak about food, texture and clothing. Let's finish this up so I can take you up to the studio and show you what I have in store for you. I am gonna do it your way. Food always tastes better than Cheers. <laughs> So Zach, today I knew we were going to be talking about mindful fashion. Look at what you have and try to make it work for you. I love embellishing stuff with saris, so I like to add a sari belt, a sari collar perhaps. I'm all about jumpsuits right now, simply because I spend a lot of time in my garage. For me, this is my work person wear, and it's going to be that much stylish. Just a little Lani Rani touch over there. 
you can really have the power to create your own look. Or even better still, why not just juice it up using accessories? How about a bag, jewelry, small touches, you can change a look. Jamara, thank you so much for such a gracious day. Well, I hope I helped style your mind a little bit better. The Lani Rani is definitely not just a superficial it girl. Her approach to nurturing her creativity is wonderfully conscious and thoughtful. I'm always looking forward to see what she has in store for us, and she never disappoints. <laughs>